reason and common sense are your best friends. Emotions are your enemy. Emotional intelligence does not mean that you approach life, I'm jumping right into this, approach life with your emotions. 99% of the people who say they're in love are just following the roller coaster of emotions. There's no reason or common sense behind it. Relationships have to make sense. Now there has to be a, uh, an element that you can't put your finger on, and that's the attractor factor, the attraction factor, the uh, love, the seeds of love that will develop over a period of time. I would imagine that people that are married for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and say that they love each other, there's something more behind that word than someone who is just getting married. That's just my opinion. I feel that emotions guide you down a path that is deceiving. I'm noticing the most successful people I know have the ability to kind of detach themselves from the emotions of a situation. They're able to stay focused. They don't get thrown off track by emotions, by how they feel, because how you feel is like this, up and down, up and down. Yet, when people use their emotions to comment to us, to uh, interact with us. It's almost a sucker's game. They're trying to pull you in, like pull you into the emotions. And I contend that it's best to remain unemotional in business and unemotional in life. Most of the trouble that you've ever gotten into in your life relationships, business, is because of your emotions. Not because of poor business sense, but because of poor emotional sense. There's this talk, and I've read the book years ago, called Emotional Intelligence. It really is a good book, and it nailed me. But emotional intelligence is not operating on emotions. It's knowing when to use your emotions and when not to. It's the appropriate use of emotions. If you like this video, don't forget to bang that thumbs up button, forward the video to people who you think would appreciate it, and subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. And as always, let it grow and let it flow.